There we go. Spending a lot of time in these right now. I, I went to my bookshelf and there's probably 20, 25 journals that I've uh, collected over the last 20 years. And uh, whenever I'm in a time in my life that is um, transformational, I spend a lot of time in my journal thinking, writing, studying. And uh, one of the things that I've noticed is a common path uh, over the last 40 years of my life um, in my professional career path. Uh, anytime I got into a position where things are going really well and I'm doing really well, um, I get really bored. <laughs> and when I get really bored, I start looking for what's next. And every change that I've made so far up until this point has worked out. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying it as a matter of fact. Um, thank God that I haven't failed in any of those uh, new adventures that I set out for. And uh, this one seems a little bit tougher than the others. <laughs> There's definitely more roadblocks and more challenges along the way. And it got me thinking about you guys and what you're experiencing in your personal lives and your careers and change. And I wanted to do some research on just that one word today and talk to you about that. And I've used a number of different sources. One of them is The Seven Decisions, which is Andy Andrews' book that he, written, he wrote based on The Traveler's Gift and The Seven um, Decisions within that book. And I'm going to start out just by sharing something that he writes on page 84, as you embark upon your journey with a decided heart. So that's where I'm at. I've embarked on this journey with a decided heart. So have you. I can promise you that the clamor from your personal peanut gallery of doubters and not so well wishers will roar. <laughs> Fact, write it down. It will amaze you, yeah, it will. It, it shock you, surprise you, amaze you, whatever word you wanna put in there. The people you thought would be on your side but aren't might be a larger group than you imagined. If you worry about, here's the key guys, if you worry about what other people think, I wanna stop right there. I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was, I was explaining, you know, as a high eye, my, my eye on the disc is 98. The only thing that's higher on my disc is the D, which is 99, uh, which means I'm all D and all I. The I is, I want to be appreciated. I want to be liked. And my greatest fear is not being appreciated. It's just how I'm wired. And I'm not saying that I'm unique because I know a lot of you feel exactly the same way. If you worry about what other people think, you will have more confidence in their opinion hmm. than you do in your own. Your future does not depend on the opinions or the permission of others. Hmm. So I'm going to share with you what I wrote in my journal after reading that. The fact is that criticism and rejection hurt. You're human, okay? You're not the Tin Man in the Wizard of Oz. You have a heart. And, and you're not the Scarecrow. You have a brain. And because you're human, criticism and rejection are going to hurt. But you must shield yourself from them to protect your decided heart. Criticism, condemnation, and complaint are creatures of the wind. They come and go on the wasted breath of lesser beings. 
and have no power over you. The next thing that I read as I'm studying for this conversation that I'm having with you today is most people fail at whatever they attempt because of an undecided heart. Think about that. Most people attempt, most people fail at what they attempt because of an undecided heart. I'm having a conversation with someone yesterday and he asked me a really good question. And the question was, now what? Now what? So what are you gonna do, John? And my answer was, I'm gonna do the only thing that I can do. I don't have a choice here. My only option is to move forward. Now, understand that retreating in fear, um, throwing out the white flag and, and saying, I surrender, uh, those are options, but they're not options for me. So the only option I have is I'm pressing on. Success requires the emotional balance of a committed heart when confronted with a challenge. Let me rephrase that because I didn't use the period correctly. <laughs> Success requires the emotional balance of a committed heart. All right, now, when confronted with a challenge, the committed heart will search for a solution. John, what are you gonna do? I'm moving forward. I'm looking for solutions. I know where I'm going. I know why I'm going there. I know that I'm going to reach that destination. Now, the journey, the path, the strategy, that may change, but the destination doesn't. You see, the committed heart will search for a solution. The undecided heart will search for an escape. Are you looking for a solution or are you looking for an escape? Poor is the man whose future depends on the opinions and permission of others. Remember this, if you, are, if you are afraid of criticism, you will die doing nothing. So being honest and transparent, and, and the only way I can help you is if I am honest and transparent, if I show up here every day and I try to pretend that I've got it all together, then how could you relate to me? The only way I can help you is if I'm a bigger mess than you are. And good news, I am. <laughs> all right. A decided heart triggers action. In the face of criticism and rejection, a decided heart triggers action in the face of criticism and rejection. Passion, please write that word down. It's so critically important. Passion awakes a burning desire and a relentless determination when the odds are stacked against us. If you ask me, John, what's the one word? What's the one thing that is common with anybody who has done anything significant in life? I would tell you passion. You, you know, you've heard me share this story before. And then again, if you're new to this call, maybe you haven't. But one of my favorite passion stories is that story is the story of Joan of Arc. And Joan of Arc is in front of the armies of, of France as they're looking um, out into the battlefield facing unwinnable odds, certain defeat. And Joan of Arc looks at the... Um, Looks at, the arm, looks at the army in front of her and, and turns around and says to her generals and, 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 sold, and, and officers and says, we must go, we must go now. And their response was, if you go, not a man will follow you. Her response was, I will not be looking back. So John, what are you going to do? You've got this obstacle that you're facing, are you going to continue to go on in pursuit of 
the dream that you have in your heart, or are you going to retreat? I'm going to go, and I'm not going to look back. Passion. Passion awakes a burning desire and relentless determination when the odds are stacked against us. Passion comes from the heart. It has nothing to do with the mind. In fact, in times of decision, you might hear, have heard somebody say, the whole thing moved from my head to my heart. That's passion. So, my question for you is, what are you going to do? Do you know the desired result? Do you know the destination? Do you, are you in, in pursuit of a destination that is, that is assured? Do you have a decided heart? Are you looking for solutions? Are you looking for escapes? If you don't know where you're going, you don't know why you're going there, when things get tough, you're going to stop. It is critically important that you know where you're going and why you're going there. Now, you don't have to be like me. You don't have to look for a new journey every time life becomes too successful, too boring. Um, but you've got to know what you're go what you're looking for, where you're going, why you're going there, and you have to have a decided heart. You have to work with passion. The whole thing has to move from your head to your heart so that there is nothing that will stop you from reaching your destination. And think about the lives that you're going to impact on this journey. Whose lives are you changing because you're living your life with a decided heart? Are people following you? Why should they follow you? If you turn around, who's there? And you have passion. You can set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. Now, here's what I know. And, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to close with giving you an opportunity to ask up a couple questions. Um, the boats are burned. There is no other option. I know where I'm going. And I'm either going to get there or I'm going to fail miserably but I won't stop. I am moving forward. Now, this entire conversation that I had with you this morning, because for some of you might be thinking, you know, that's cool, John, you're, you know, you're sharing your story with us and that's awesome, we love it. Okay, that's a head fake. You know, when, when the running back has the ball and he does this and runs that way, it's a head fake. He, he wants you to think, this is where I'm going. And in reality, this is where he's going. This is a head fake. This conversation had nothing to do about me. It had everything to do about you. All right, talk to me.